so you downloaded a car from CG Trader. Now you want to rig and animate it, so here's how. So first off, we need to organize our layers. Now, how I like to do it, because this is in context of animation and not taking a picture, we need to break it down into the four different wheels and the body, yeah? And basically why we need to do this is so that we can use this function here, which is select objects. And we can basically select everyone in a defined category, yeah? Because that's gonna be useful later. So first off, we need to prepare the model ready for the rig. Now, this is probably the most important part of rigging a car is the preparation work on the actual rig. And what I mean by that is we need to start organizing our layers into separate files. Now, we need to have all four wheels and its components separated into its individual file. And then we need also the body to do the same. Now. When I first downloaded this model, it was all over the shop. There was loads of empties and all sorts. So you need to go around and tidy it up. You need to also apply any mirror modifiers that may be being used. But if you've downloaded it, it's likely not, but you know what I mean? You need to consolidate your model and apply every mirror modifier ready for. The reason why we need to organize all these files is so we can basically quickly select all of these objects by selecting the folder and then clicking select objects. And it will basically select everything in a defined area that we need. And that's what we're going to need when it comes to rigging it. We need to be able to select all the wheel bits or all the body bits, yeah? That's why we're doing it. And now finally, the last thing you need to do is go around and correct all your origins on your model. Now, what an origin is, you might be asking, is what? It's this thing in the middle here, can you see it? It's basically an anchor point saying that this is the very center of this object. So if we was to rotate it, it would rotate around this point. This is very important when it comes to wheels, because if it's not exactly in the middle, they'll wobble, basically, and you'll have all kinds of issues. So what you need to do, basically, is select your wheel, Go into edit mode, select all the vertices that are in there, and then press shift and S. This will bring up this menu here, which controls your 3D cursor. Now you want to put that 3D cursor to the selected area. So we're going to click this one here. And as you can see, we have a 3D cursor now. So now if we press tab and go back out into the object mode, and we go up here and press options, Make sure that this is selected because it'll be this originally. Now you need to turn the origins on. It basically means we're only going to affect the origins now, which is separate from, it's a different data block to the actual mesh. Now in order, <clears throat> typically your origins will be over here somewhere, you know what I mean? But we want them there. So what you'd do is press shift S again and you'd put the selection to cursor. Then this origin would move from wherever it was exactly to this point here. Now I can represent that by quickly putting the 3D cursor here, pressing Shift S and then selection into cursor. Can you see how it moves now? But if I was to rotate this, it would rotate from this point here and we don't want that. So we click on this, press tab, Shift S, cursor to selected, tab back out, and then press Shift S again, selection to cursor, boom. Your origins are done. But you need to do this to every single item in that wheel. So this is our front left. So if we go in here, look, we can then press select objects like so, and then press shift S again and s selection to cursor. And that will correct every single origin. So like the tire, the wheel, the brake, anything, everything basically. And we need them all to have the same origin point. And you need to do that for every single wheel. Can you see how I've already done it? That one's got one, that one's got one and this one's got one, and you need to do it for the body parts as well. The same point, can you see how it's in the middle here? This origin, I, I've done videos before, and I swear to God, 80% of the questions and problems is because of origins, so I'm really focusing on origins. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I've always said it, I think it should be the first lesson in 3D modeling, because I was stumped when I came across this, I always remember it, and everybody else falls a short on this problem. And it's origins, you know what I mean? It really should be the first lesson in Blender. So now we've prepared our model, we can now consider adding an armature rig. So now we've prepared our model, we can think about adding an armature. So if we press Shift A and 
add a card deformation rig. Obviously, you need to download the Rigify add-on from where it is. <laughs> so once you've added the rig, you can go to your armature settings and in viewport display, quickly click in front. And we can see our pre-made armature, yeah? Awesome. What we need to do now is move them all around so that they match all this here. So if we click on this object here, and we turn the origins off again and press shift s and put the cursor back to that selected area there we can then click our armature and press tab so now we're in edit mode we can select this one object here and if we want we can mirror it as well by clicking this button up here and it'll do both at the like, same time we can then press shift s and selection to cursor and it'll put it exactly in the middle and this is very important for wobbly wheels if you've got wobbly wheels this is what's wrong basically so we can go in here now and we can click the little bit on the end and if we press G and Y to move it and get it near enough to the edge of the wheel there like that kind of thing lovely so if we check the other side the other side's been done as well lovely now we need to repeat the same process but on this wheel. So if we back out and go into object mode so that we can change 3D cursor, put that back in the center, and then we can select the armature again, tab back in, click, make sure you've clicked the right one, yep. And then press Shift S and selection to cursor. Square off into orthographic mode. Move over, G to Y, move it out to the edge. Lovely jubbly. Now for this one here, we need to click on the body and shift S, move the cursor to the selected and it should go back to where you want it. And then back onto the armature, press tab, click that one, press shift S, selection to cursor. Now if we go into here and then we move this end piece, GY to like the end of the car there and that should be absolutely lovely for our next step so if we back out what we need to do now is go into pose mode so with the armature selected we want to go over to pose mode there it's also if you want to go back now you can press control tab kind of thing and then control tab again and it'll go back into pose mode it's a very useful tool that is so now we're in pose mode basically what we can do is select this one and then we know it's the front left <laughs> it's very confusing doing it and then we can also press with shift and right up select objects like that so if we select all those objects and then come over to the armature and press press click on it yep so the selection for the objects works in this outliner and the selection for the bones because we're in pose mode is through this window here and that's how you need to remember it yeah so now we have those objects selected and that bone we can press Control p for parenting and what we want to do is parent it to the bone so if we click that look now that wheel should be parented to that that bone yeah that's exactly what we want which is lovely so if we close that folder now if we do the same for everything else kind of thing so now we want the left rear and we click select objects and then press that bone same again control p to the bone and then it's parented now let me just repeat that for every the other two wheels And the last thing you need to do is parent the body to the body bone. So if we select the body and select the object, so we've got all of them selected, and then click the bone, same again, control P, bone. So now we have everything parented to a bone, yeah? The next step's the fun bit. I always like to press save about now kind of thing. If you press save, ignore that. <laughs> Textures. We, what we need to do now is go to rig a car and what we're going to do is generate the rig now I don't do it with all this auto feature thing what I do is I parent the bones exactly where I want them and to, with everything and this should work so if we press generate now fingers crossed this should work I need a drum roll because 
it never works, but let's generate. Ooh. And I do believe we have a successful rigger car. Yes. And this is this the, this video is basically testament to if you follow that rule set, it will always work kind of thing. It's always like eight percent origins is your issue. And shall we simulate everything working like yeah buddy so steering works drift works wheels turn and for me those two buttons right there are the most important thing ever because <laughs> everything i want to do is drift now if we move the suspension yep that's good move the root button around yep i do believe we've got a functioning model so what we can do now as well is go into our rigger car and if we click this button here wheels on the y on the Y, back of the Y. <laughs> anyway, so if we if we're on our route and we press G and Y, the wheels will also rotate, which is awesome. Shall I turn that off? G Y, and as you can see, our wheels are rotating. Now a lot of people have this issue where the wheels won't rotate and things like that. Now, if you just follow this rule set, it will work, kind of thing. Now, I can probably. If we go back into object mode and then add a, a floor plane, do that like this lot. So I'll put just a little bit lower. <clears throat> now, if we go into back into our rig, so we need to click car rig so we can get to our rig car. If we now go to our ground sensors and just keep Clicking, selecting. Ooh, it's gone a bit crazy at the beginning, but click those, click those, click those, click those, click those, click those. We can see our model is completely broken. <laughs> now, what's happening there? What's going off here? We finally come across an issue. It might be because it's not big enough, so if we scale the Y a little bit like that, is it really far away? It might. It might be because it's really far away. So if we bump it up, get it round about like that. And I'm also going to apply the scale because that can also be an issue all the time. So if we apply the scale and then we go back into our car rig and see if it'll work now. Yep, that's what the issue is. So if you have that issue, that's how you fix it. Yeah, it's because your thing's either too small or you've got to apply the scale to match this car kind of thing because that we're trying to place it on something that was tiny so it just basically spun and went crazy yeah and now what we can do is click the car rig we on it if we press g and y are they are they moving oh they're not moving are they so what you might have to do is bake the wheel rotations maybe oh I think I know what the problem is here. No, 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 no. What the problem is here, GY, your wheels aren't turning because you're not in pose mode. So if we go into pose mode, are we in? Yeah, I'll turn my things on so you can see. Before we was in object mode like this, look, and it was orange. So if you press G and your Y and your wheels aren't rotating, it's because you're not in pose mode. And then when you press G and Y on the root bone, the blue one, look, the wheels will rotate. So if obviously keyframed it there and then 50 frames later keyframed it there, the wheels will rotate. You've just got to do it in pose mode, whereas you might be doing it in object mode. But otherwise, I, I would call this a successful, successful rigger car. Follow this rule set and you'll never lose. I think what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm basically going to answer every single question I've ever been answered on Rigger Car in just like a nice fell swoop. Yeah? And then, because that's basically what you're coming here for. Like, you're struggling with your Rigger Car, aren't you? So, let's solve some problems. I've got another car to rig, and I'm probably going to film that one as well because, like, you know what I mean? Practice makes perfect with this. I've probably done, like, 15 now, so I'm, like, really confident with it. This way works, kind of thing. Follow it. It'll work. Lovely. Jubbly. Thank you for watching, everybody. It's been awesome. I'll see you next time. Consider subscribing. It really motivates me to make more. I'll even show you how to fix this weird brake problem down here. Oh, I've only just noticed that. Yeah, so I think the next episode we're going to do all the fixy problems, you know what I mean? Because I know for a fact that I've got to go further with this by 
restricting the spin of that brake. I said, I'll show you next time. Bye.